What's up, everybody? JR Raymond with BowlerX.com here, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop inside Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. I got to give them a quick shout out because they allow me to use their facility, especially the pro shop here. They let me come in, drill the stuff, drill all the equipment that I need to drill for these reviews for you to be able to see. And thanks to Classic Lanes uh, for letting me use their facility for using the lanes and being able to do these reviews out on the lanes so you can see everything. Because as you know, I like to do reviews to where we're not clipping shots. We're not just throwing strike after strike trying to make every ball look good. I'm gonna throw these balls from every brand that sends them to me. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I could use them for. Um, I don't necessarily think there's such a thing as a bad ball. I just think they're going to be very situational. This was a ball here, the Squatch Solid, which is what we're gonna review today. This was a ball that I actually drilled for a short pattern to use in the situation of playing further right and getting a big strong ball to slow down or to hook earlier to get it to not hook so much down lane and be able to control the pattern a little bit. And this ball did that for me as I bowled 255 the first game with it out of the box. We did a typical, uh, I think it was like a 40 by five and a quarter inch layout uh, and the third angle being 70 to really slow it down, down lane, make it nice and smooth, uh, more of an arc type shape rather than that big snappy hook that you normally see out of some of the shinier or bigger, stronger bowling balls. Um, so that's what we got out of this. We're going to take it out on the lanes, typical 42 foot house pattern and see what it gives us. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So we're going to take a look at this ball. This is one of them that I put in my bag out at the summer swing that I had intentionally drilled for the short pattern. Uh, a lot of the times when I go to a Brunswick ball, I tend to see them see the front a little bit quicker. So I want to get them to start up a little bit. And then they're really good at being slower down lane. So I drilled first, I drilled a method solid uh, and it was a little too slow. So we went to a cleaner cover and I drilled a radical uh, squatch solid. Uh, and it was what it did the trick, but I didn't quite know it well enough to be able to do what I really want. So we're going to throw it a little bit more today, give it a little bit of a review and see what it looks like here on a typical 42 foot leak pattern. So let's take a look. It is a uh, pin down five and a half inch layout. I believe the numbers came to, uh, it was like uh, 40 by five and a half by seven. So it's a really big third number. First number don't matter because it's a symmetrical ball, but it was a really big third angle or second angle, I should say, just to try to get the ball to slow down down lane. So we'll start trying to, you know, it's like normal, try to go a little straighter in the track area. And she picks up. All right. Now the good news is it hooks. So let's see what we get out of these next couple of shots. That one read the middle of the lane really strong. Didn't quite really read the front. It floated through the front pretty good. Let's move a few left and see if we can get it to get to the pocket. That's better. It's a little bit more left or right with it. You can watch it really pick up in the middle of the lane and it still had enough down lane to go through the pins. So that's one thing I did notice is when I was when I was playing that 33 or whatever foot pattern it was, I think it was Wolf on 33 feet. When I got it to the gutter, it didn't dead jerk off of it. It just kind of rolled off of it and it still made the corner uh, and got through the pins pretty well. So that was good. We'll go a couple more left here. Oh boy. Woo! That is good news right there. Throw it that bad, throw it that far right, and it's still only two pins. That's a winner in my book. That's better than that's better than what it could have been for sure. Alright. Because normally you get two things that happen there. It either overhooks to the right and at big fours or it never hooks and it washes out or two eight times. So we're gonna do try that again. Try to get it a little bit closer. Eh, I'm gonna hit my leg. <laughs> this is going well. 
threw one off my leg, so that's good. But at least that one didn't hang to the right. But as you can see, this ball is super strong. Very, very strong, very aggressive in the middle and down lane. It's not that typical Brunswick look that I'm used to. It actually picks up pretty good down lane. Let's try this again. That's better. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for right there out of that ball. This kind of, this ball actually reminds me a little bit of like the old school Ultimate Inferno, which Brunswick, if you're listening, you need to come out with that ball again. You need to bring that bad boy back. That ball was amazing. It was one of those real strong in the middle and then it just continued to hook and it never stopped. Like it just, it let you play the entire lane. Keep going left here. Another one off my leg. Oh, wow. Wow, that was different. I thought that was gonna nine pin before anything. And she just blow her 10. That was really weird. I don't even know what to call that. Ugh, but another one off my leg. Tells you I haven't been practicing enough. Crossover's gotta be bigger. All right, moving left still. There's that nine pen. So this thing trucks, man. This thing really goes through the pens. Just for me so far, it's only striking a couple of times. I have to get used to this thing. I love the motion of it though. I didn't think I'd say that, but I do. All right, going further left. This thing hooks. Good grief. Very strong, very continuous ball. So we'll throw a few more. We'll go left with it. I didn't think I'd really find a Brunswick ball that would let me go to left and still get it through the pins. So Radical's doing some cool things apparently. Get up against the ball return, throw it a little bit to the right with a wobbling three pin. That's got to be good. Ah, there's that wrap time. All right, a couple more shots. Looks pretty good though. But anybody that knows me knows I struggle knocking 10 down on the league pattern. I always have. My tilt, my tilt and rev rate don't seem to match up for this type of stuff. But here we go. A little further left. See if you can't get around it a little bit more. That should be good. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So we'll end on that one because that one looked really good. So if you're looking for a ball that is actually really versatile, then this would be the ball for you. Because this is going to let me play straighter, and it's going to let me, on the shorter patterns, it lets me play straighter because it's a big, strong ball. It's going to use up a little bit of energy. And then on the longer patterns of the typical league pattern, I'm able to go as far left pretty much as I want. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's throw one more. We're going to throw one on the... Uh, we're going to see if we can get in front of the ball return. Let's see what it does in here. Get my hand around it. Yeah, so there we go. So that proves my point. I just kind of assumed it would be okay in there. But that shows that it was really good, no matter how far left I went. So the rumors that only Brunswick stuff is really, really straight and can only play straighter, uh, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that's pretty much debunked by this ball right here. Uh, and maybe Brunswick's a little bit different than Radical. We'll find out. I got a method solid that I want to show you as well. But this is the first Radical ball I've ever drilled. And so far, uh, it lets me do pretty much whatever I want to do with it uh, as far as going left and continuing to go left and it still goes through the pen. So if that's what you're looking for, I would head over to BowlerX.com, get yourself a Radical or a, a Squatch Solid uh, and you'll be able to do the exact same thing hopefully. So until next time guys, we'll see you later.